Hi, I'm Jared Nissen, Product Marketing Manager at the Toro Company. We recently launched our new Revolution series of commercial zero-turn mowers, and because of this, I've had the opportunity to talk with countless landscape contractors about the difference between gas and battery machines. One topic that's come up quite a bit is the price difference between equivalent gas and battery-powered equipment. I've dug pretty deep into this with some very successful landscapers and just want to take a minute to share with you what I've heard from them. Something that, that really struck me, a key point coming out of this, was that they don't just simply look at the sticker price and make a decision based on that. They actually look at financing and then compare monthly or yearly costs of ownership to see what's best for their business. Keep in mind that I, I fully understand every business and situation is different. Hours used annually in the South versus the North will vary. Are you maintaining well-kept properties or are they pretty rough? Are you cutting grass part-time or full-time? I encourage you to visit the Toro Total Cost Calculator for you to customize based on your exact business and operations. The key point is that this analysis assumes the gas and battery equipment are equivalent. That means you can get needed runtime from the battery equipment to get through the full day. There's a comparable quality of cut and it is truly commercial grade on the durability scale. If you want to purchase a residential battery zero turn and compare it to a commercial grade machine, you aren't looking at apples to apples at that point. You know, next, this video, it, it's not an attempt to sell a Toro product. This is simply providing you a look at price of machines comparing gas and battery powered equipment and sharing what I've learned based on feedback from a wide variety of landscapers. The goal is to inform you as best as possible based on real world feedback so you can choose what's best for your operations and your business. Again, I highly encourage you to visit the total cost calculator to put in your own values for different equipment. Okay, so let's dig into it. For this example, let's assume in one year the equipment will be used 100 days at seven hours per day, or 700 hours in a year. I'm also gonna spread the costs out over all 12 months to simplify the calculations, even though we all know some months will be heavier than others. So there's three factors that we're gonna look at. The first is what are you paying for the machine? Most people don't just walk into a dealership and pay $10,000 or more for a lawnmower with a check or cash. They finance the purchase. Most customers, depending on their credit rating, can get 0% for a certain period of time. For this exercise, let's assume 0% for 48 months, which is a very standard term. $12,000 for gas powered means you'll pay $250 per month of cost for the equipment, while $30,000 for the battery powered option means it'll cost you $625 per month. Next, how much do you spend on maintenance in a year for each of these machines? Oil changes, filters, belts, labor, those prices add up. Diligent companies track these costs and on average, these will cost about $1,800 per year or $150 per month for a commercially used zero turn. Keep in mind we're talking only about wear parts. Warranty parts and issues are not included in this number. With basically no wear parts on battery equipment, this can save you up to around 90% of those costs. For this calculation, we'll pump the brakes a bit and assume that it only trims off 75% of those costs. That means for the battery powered lawnmower, you'll end up paying $37.50 per month on maintenance. How much do you spend on gas in a year? 700 hours multiplied by 1.25 gallons per hour. This is a broad average of fuel consumption for commercial zero turns times the cost of gas when it's $4 a gallon, keep in mind this is 2023, equals $292 per month. In comparison, electricity for charging will cost $276 per year or $23 per month. Note that the 18.4 kilowatt hour and seven hours of runtime per day used is for the 52 inch grandstand revolution. This means that in the end you save $269 per month using battery powered equipment versus gas based on fuel consumption. Note that the above does not include any infrastructure upgrades to support your battery equipment charging. So you add these together and you actually save about $7 per month when you go with the battery option. Now $7 per month might not really be enough to move the needle for your business, but think about how government rebates and incentives impact the above calculation. Realizing these may not always be there, I'm just gonna give you a quick snapshot in time of what we're seeing right now. As an example, the current structure of the Inflation Reduction Act includes a tax credit equal to the lesser of either 30% of the battery equipment MSRP or 
the incremental difference between the battery and corresponding gas version. Most commercial battery products, including the Toro Revolution Zero Turns, will enable you to get the full $7,500 tax credit. Now, let's take a look at what this does to your monthly cost of ownership. The machine purchase price at $30,000 drops down to $22,500 with a tax credit for the battery equipment, meaning you'll end up paying about $470 per month over four years for the cost of the machine. This means in the end you'll save $162 per month if you buy the battery powered equipment versus a gas powered version. Utilizing this with other state or local incentives, check out the core program if you're in California that can give you up to $12,500 rebate on equipment, can also have further impact to your monthly costs along with the above. Some other things that you'll need to consider include first, lifetime of batteries versus gas powered engines. Battery technology has come a really long way over the recent years. Next, resale value of gas versus battery. If one has a larger lifetime, the resale value increases. And then third, does one type of machine open up new business opportunities in your market? In some locations, customers, think about schools, hospitals, parks, are requiring contractors to use battery powered equipment on their properties. Again, the point of this video is not to convince you to buy battery powered equipment. The purpose is to give you guys another way to look at your actual costs of battery powered versus gas powered zero turns to truly optimize your business. Please be sure to check out the calculator at revolution.torog.com to customize your inputs based on your operations. I also wanna reiterate that you need to compare comparable equipment. When you look at battery versus gas zero turns, you have to make sure they are both high quality, truly commercial grade equipment with runtime to meet your needs. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to stay informed as you continue to build your business.